world and welcome to my channel. This short video is going to be on a companion rechargeable camp shower. Um, there it is there. That's it. Well, I hope you like this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Cheers. Okay, there's a couple of reasons why I bought this. A, it was on special. B, I'm in a caravan and, and down here is a water heater and a room heater combo. Now, it works fine. Everything works good on it. It's got a 1,000 watt heater and it's got a 2,000 watt heater. It is, it's got a ducted uh, system that goes right through the caravan. But it leaks. Um, so I haven't been able to use the, the hot water heater on this part of it. Sure, I can replace it. Let's get another hot water system or eBay maybe for 100 bucks, 150 bucks. But I'm going to try and fix it. I think the tank might have a crack in it or something wrong with the tank. It is 20 years old, so that's why I've got it for that. And, and B, I can take it camping when I go out. So my idea is to use this, boil a jug, pour it into a bucket, get it to a good temperature, then have a shower with the water. Now, I can use it in the bathroom I've got here. It works fine on cold water, but sometimes you want a bit of, a bit of warm water. So um, I'm going to be able to use it in the caravan as well as camping. And it seems to work good, so I'm going to unbox it now. Okay, so that's... That's the unit there. It's a rechargeable cam shower, lithium ion battery. It also comes with a bit of nozzle. I think that's how you pronounce it, which looks like that for squirting stuff. You know, my idea is to try and get water out of a river and then uh, put it in a billy and, or, or a um, stainless steel bucket and then put it by the fire and get it hot and then have showers that way. So on here it has a 70 minutes run time, one top touch operation and two different shower heads. Now the, it's three litres a minute, which is quite a lot of water, um, a bit more than the others. Uh, power supply is a 2850 amp hour lithium ion rechargeable battery. It is, the hose length is 2 metres, as I said before, it runs 70 minutes, and the recharge time is 4 to 5 hours, but 70 minutes, you have a, I don't know, wet yourself, turn it off, some soap on, wash it off, so you can have a shower in only about 5 minutes of use. You get the bag, and you get all this gear here. So you get that bag there, keep it all in. So I'll unbox it now. Nothing else in the box. So you get your owner's manual instruction manual and everything in there this also has a filter I believe so you get the shower head feels good and solid so yeah so under here is a switch. Hold on. 
under here is the rechargeable there you are. And under there it recharges so it seems like a better system than the uh, Spinifex one I was looking at there. so that's what it looks like Yeah, so that's what it looks like. It's our aqua pack, it's called. And there's the filter. That filter goes on top of this. The filter's that. It's only a very coarse filter. Put it back on top. So that's what you get. You get the um, on off switch and the sealable charging option under there this is the bidet shower you just squeeze it and shoot it i'm going to show you all these things once i charge it up this is the shower head can be removed and cleaned if you need to. That's the shower head. Cigarette lighter, 12 volt outlet with a USB in it. That's the lead. Two meters of lead. Nothing else on there. Over here we have that's the hook assembly. Yeah, you can use one. That's a suction hook. I'll work out how to use it, but that's a suction one, and that is a. I assume you can have it like that. Suction onto something. Take that off. Or you can have it on a hook like this. But you don't need the suction on a hook. <laughs> or you can have it like that, I suppose. Yeah, you'd have it hooking up like that onto something. So you'd hook it up like that and it all comes apart. Of course you get the USB charging lead. Plugs into the top of the battery pack and onto a USB. And then you have a the bag. It's just a, a, a nylon bag, of course. It's like a dry bag. Not a dry bag, but a... It would, wouldn't, it would get dry pretty quickly. And that's what it is like that. So, yeah. And it says Companion Aqua Pack. So recapping on what I what you get, you get the manual, you get the battery pack, you get a squirting nozzle to squirt things down, you get the shower head, you get a 12 volt uh, adapter with a USB on the other side, the your cable with the USB, the charging cable. And you got two hook options. So you either got 
hook up like that or you can use the suction on something and then you've got the two meter hose and then you have the bag it should fit everything in that size bag so that's that's what you get oh, I also forget to mention that you get this little silicon o-ring that you've got to put on to seal it up must be on this side so when you screw it on to there it must go on there to stop it from leaking so that's in the bag so you make sure you don't lose that I'm going to keep it all in the bag with the um, suction part you actually get two of those see one, one there and one there so you must get a spare I didn't realize there was two so you must get two of them so yeah I'm going to charge it up now well my first impression of it isn't good I don't know um, you can't have it too high otherwise it hasn't got a good head doesn't raise the water up too high It'll help, it'll work, but it's not what well I thought it'd be. So, yeah, um, you, you can use it, but it's not as good as I thought it might have been. So, would I suggest buying it? No, probably not. Um, just doesn't have a good head couldn't get up to my head height and it would stop water flowing if you had it around chest level yeah you'd have a good stream but you raise it up up anything higher than your, your chest and it just stops so it's pretty weak the pump um, yeah I, I just don't think it's it's very good at all in my opinion so would I recommend buying it? No, no, I would not recommend buying it. I don't know what the others are like, so I'm not comparing it to anything. But there's got to be something better out there than that. Okay, um, back to the shower head. Now, it hasn't got a head. It doesn't raise it up past your chest. And I've said no, I don't recommend it. Um, there must be something better and I do say that but you can use it and I am going to use it because I own it so what happens is you need to raise the water the bucket of water the warm water you're going to be using higher so you need to have it on a chair or the back of a ute I got a shower tent here this is my shower area I can hook it up there and have it so I'll just show you the head it has when it's up higher so. So that's up there you can have it that high you can see how high i've got it and the good shower head up there so by raising the bucket up turn this off so by raising your water source up which is a bucket of water of warm water you're going to be using you can then um, have it up here so I intend to hook it up here somewhere So I intend to hook it up there like that, have my shower tent out here um, and have the water source in the back of my ute like this. That's my shower tent there and there's plenty of water will be coming out of that if I need it. So. So, as I said, would I recommend it? 
Probably not, but as I said, I, you can use it. You can use it. And rechargeable. Uh, you haven't got to worry about the leads running to it. Um, and I'm going to use it because I own it. I bought it. So you turn it on in here. Open it up. And you can have it oh, running your arm. Why is that? And you get plenty of, plenty of water coming out. Okay, so way above where I'm going to have it. I'm going to have it protected here like that. And you'll be able to have a good shower like that. By having this raised up. So it, you can work around the problems it has. I'll try the other nozzle. Turn it on. So that's raised up. That's how much water you're going to get out of it. Like that. So yeah, you're going to get a, a decent amount of water if you raise it up. So that's the secret of using this is having it higher than the, the ground level so you need it on a chair at least but the higher the better in the back of you and that's where i'm going to be using it most of the time and the other time i'll be in a caravan and i'll put it on a, a stool in the caravan in the shower and use it on that so i can use it in both situations a bucket is around nine liters it's three liters a minute turn that off again um, yeah so a bucket's around nine liters um, it's the three min liters a minute you could wet yourself down with this I've got the wind slayer on I hope you can hear me very very windy day today so and I got that out of the wind trying to so I got the wind slayer on and um, yeah so yeah you could um, so it's three nine litre bucket, three litres a minute. It gives you three, six, nine, nine, nine minutes. So you can wet yourself down. Maybe take right, 20, 15 seconds. Wet yourself down, soap yourself up. Wash your soap off, wet your hair down. Soap your hair, hair up. Wash it down. So yeah, you could easily have a good share in, in a bucket of water. As long as you don't waste it. And you don't want to waste water in the bush anyway. Unless you're getting it from the river. So yeah, you can have a really, really good shower, even for two people, out of a bucket of water if you wanted to. I've been out sailing before and I've had a, a, a bit of a shower out of a litre bottle of milk bottle uh, uh, yeah, uh, two litre milk bottle but a really good share of two litre milk bottle so you can wet yourself down, soap yourself up wash yourself off and do it in stages without having the entire thing running all the time so as I say my answer is, is no but you can work with what this is it, as I said it looks like better quality than the Spinifex one that's why I bought it um, it just looks better um, and uh, and I said I can use it the way it is so I'm, I'm happy I got it I couldn't find anything better this had a switch on it it had a movable head which turns it on and off and that impressed me whereas the others didn't have that feature so you could have it on yeah, you, know, you don't want to be reaching in the bucket to turn it off with soapy water. So you want to turn it off um, and then soap yourself up and then turn it on and then turn it off and on like that. And um, and the battery life of that is 50 minutes. So by having it on that time, um, won't won't wreck it. So yeah, you'll be having a, a showers for several days and then you can still charge it up anyway. So.
yeah well i hope you like this video if you do please give me a thumbs up and subscribe cheers